Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to put to the test the new Huda Beauty reformulated foundation and I'm going to also put the old one to the test so I'm going to do half of my face the new one and the other half the old one and we're going to see uh, what is different if they actually have different coverage if by the end of the day one of them is going to look amazing and the other one is going to be a total mess so we're going to see that together so without any further ado let's get started Okay, so I'm going to prep my skin using the same thing and I'm going to be using also everything from Huda. I have here the concealer, I have the powder and also we're gonna do some cream contour. So everything that I'm going to be using today is gonna be Huda's. So we see how everything adds together. And I really wanted to put this to the test because it's supposed to be a better formula right now. Let's see because I really like the old one, the only thing or the only the issue that I have with it was the fragrance but for me it was very nice I have combination skin so it wasn't that drying or anything like that so the package is the same so they look exactly the same I have the shade Baklava in both of them this shade is a tiny bit darker than my skin color it's not too dramatic that you're gonna see in camera maybe you won't even realize it but in person I really see uh, the difference but I didn't wanted to risk it and use another shade because I didn't know if this will oxidize or how that will work so I just ordered the same one and if I wanted to put both of them together having different shades is going to be difficult for you to judge so let's start and I'm going to prep the skin using the Ines Free Dewy Glow uh, Jelly Cream this is actually a gel moisturizer if you see here is transparent and it only helps in plumping a little bit my skin and make it look like bouncy and everything I wanted to use something that wasn't gonna alter the results so this cream is perfect for it so let's start with a new one and I'm going to be using a sponge for this and let's see let's see how it is start here just one pump and I'm going to do it in the right side of my face which is the left for you guys, I guess. <laughs> it looks very nice. It's very, very matte. So if you don't like super matte foundation, I guess this is not gonna be your cup of tea, but it's super matte, I see. It has no fragrance at all, so that's cool. It's very, very nice, a little bit sticky, but very, very covering. It has a great coverage here. I did my eyes already. This video is going to be up after this one. So make sure that you stay tuned with the channel because this is one of the Valentine's look that you're gonna see that I create for this month. The whole month of February is Valentine's, right? <laughs> it's very, very nice. It's a very nice foundation. It's very, it has a great coverage. You can see there, super full coverage. It has a subtle glow like in here I don't have any foundation and you can see my skin is glowing naturally but in here it doesn't really uh, show like super super matte you can see a little glow in there which is very nice the plus is the fragrance I really really like the foundation the original one but the fragrance is very strong so sometimes it was a little bit overwhelming for me but this is very nice Perfect, let's apply the other one then on the other side. And this is the original. And let's see, let me clean up here <laughs> so they don't mix together. One pump. Yeah, it's this one. I smell it just in case that I, because <laughs> I have them next to each other. <laughs> okay, let's see. The color in this one, I don't know if you guys can see, but in person I can see it. This one is a little lighter. You can see it in person, right? I don't know if through the camera you can see the difference, but this one looks a little darker than the other one. They are the same shade. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, coverage is the same, which is great, but the color, yeah, is different. This one is a little bit lighter. I can see the difference now. No, it's not that dramatic. In camera, I can you, you guys probably don't see it much. Forehead. Yeah, on the center of the face, they're gonna meet together, but it's fine. Coverage is the same. 
I see the same glow in this side also. I don't see it too matte. The coverage is the same. I feel it very comfortable too. I really like the finish of both. So I think the most difference is the shade. Definitely the original is a little bit lighter than this one. And I feel like this one is more sticky, the, the new one, than this one. This one has more of that powdery finish. <laughs> <laughs> that's not that sticky as of now i don't see like a major difference but let's see through the day when i do the check-ins with you guys let's apply some concealer so now i'm gonna use huda's concealer i have two shades because i like to highlight a little bit using a lighter shade and the shades i have graham cracker and coconut flakes and let's apply the graham cracker first and I'm going to apply a little tiny bit here. This one has a little of a peachy undertone there because that I like to correct my under eyes. I don't have very deep under eye, but uh, whenever I have a little darkness, it's generally purplish type of darkness. So this pink color is going to help neutralize it and the coconut flake is a little bit more neutral and it's a little lighter than the other one which i used to highlight and that's all okay now that i finished the under eye you can see it's super highlighted <laughs> i'm going to do some cream contour using the tantor and the color i use is light these uh, tantor or cream contours are very pigmented you can see the color is very very dark even though it's light <laughs> i will say if you want to buy them buy one shade lighter than the usual shade that you usually use in cream contours because these ones are very pigmented and I love how they work. And they're, of course, from Huda. <laughs> so I'm going to be applying the cream contour here. They are super nice when it comes to blending. They blend very well. So let's see how they work with the foundation. Okay, perfect. Let's do here on our chin or double chin. <laughs> perfect. And what I'm gonna do is going to set my face using also Huda's powder. And the shade I have is Cupcake. Uh, this powder is very, very nice. Unfortunately, it has that fragrance that I'm talking about, but it's a very nice powder. Like, I don't care about the fragrance because it's a super nice powder. And I'm gonna use a very small brush to set the center of the face first, like this. Super, super nice powder. I really, really like it. The foundation is looking gorgeous. I really, really like it. Let's set this part here. And I'm going to lightly, with a fluffy brush and a bigger one, set the contour, but lightly, so it doesn't disappear because this is not a translucent powder. It has a little color on it, so it might make the contour a little lighter than we actually wanted. Okay, now that the face is set, I'm going to finish the rest of the makeup off camera and I'm going to be back so you guys can see how the makeup looks like and to show you the time to start the whole journey testing out this foundation. Be right back. Okay guys, so I finished my entire face right now. I finished my eye makeup. I put on some blush and I did apply a little bit of highlight because I cannot live without it. But I applied just a tiny, tiny bit of it in my cheekbone area only. So what you see in the middle of the face is just a regular glow that I get through the foundation, but that's it. I didn't apply highlighter anywhere else but here. And right now it's 116 there, as you can see in my phone. I'm going to be doing check-ins using my phone so you can see the makeup also in natural light, how it looks like and everything. And I'm going to be back here. I'm going to try to wear at least for eight hours so you guys can see the final results. So I'll be back. Okay, guys. Uh, right now is 3.52. This is the first check-in that I'm doing. And this is how everything is looking like. I just finished filming my haul and we don't put the air conditioner. So I was a little sweaty and you can see I'm a little bit, uh, <laughs> that's my husband there. <laughs> I'm a little bit glowy 
but everything is looking fine. I ate so my mouth area is a little bit removed. <laughs> but the rest of the face is looking very very nice. You can see it's glowy but it's not greasy or nothing like that. It feels very comfortable. I don't see like one is better than the other one. I see them very similar. This is after two or more, well, a little bit more hours. So let's see, let's see how it goes. Okay, right now it's like around 7, 10, 7, 15. This is how everything is looking. I haven't retouched on anything in my face. So everything that you see right now is as it's been uh, wearing off the foundation. I see like I'm very oily here in my forehead, like in the center of the face. I can see some oil coming through the foundation, but I don't see anything too exaggerated. I'm also wearing a mask be because I went out. So here's the mask. You can see it's transferable. So it's not gonna be that foundation that it's going to be transfer proof at least with a two hour wear with my mask this is how everything is looking so maybe if you set it with a lot of powder it's going to be better but i haven't retouched or anything so what you see is um what is going on so i'm going to wear it at least until 10 to see um how everything goes and i'll be giving my final thoughts on that last checking okay guys this is the final check-in as you can see the skin is looking very glowy i'm a little bit greasy in the center of the face you can see a lot of oil here in my forehead and in the cheek area remember that i put a little bit of highlight so that could be giving me a little extra glow in this part generally don't have any oily skin in my cheek area that's why i use highlight over here but you can see it here in the center of the face um, mainly. The lip area is a little bit messed up because I was eating and you know cleaning with napkins and stuff like that so maybe I removed a little bit of the foundation already. And in my nose area you can see that's a, a little worn off over there because I was also using a tissue and you know with my runny nose. I mean I don't see any big difference in the two of them like I see both of them have worn off the same way. I don't see any substantial difference that will say okay this one is better than the other one or it looks better than the other one. I really don't see anything major. Maybe I see a little bit more glow in this side because it was a luminous finish. So in here, you can see more glow in this area than in here. You can see it's a little bit more matte, but it's not like groundbreaking. And I was using also a mask. So you can see like all the transfer that it went to the mask uh, when I used it. So not sure why they were saying that it's super transfer proof and waterproof and all that because it actually transferred to my mask when I used it. But maybe if you use a little bit more powder or if you set it very good, I know I didn't set it with a lot of powder because that's not usually what I do. So I wanted to use it the same way I use all of my foundations right now what i want to do is i want to see how and i want to show you how it looks if i retouch it a little bit because i didn't retouch it at all during the day so let's see i'm going to apply a little bit more of the huda beauty's powder and i'm just going to retouch the center of the face with a little powder and let's see how it looks if it's look like new if i will retouch my face this is what i would do actually like applying a little powder in the center of the face just to make sure that I remove any extra oil that I have. Yeah, and after I blot it like this, it really looks much better. In camera, it looks uh, super nice, but in person also it looks nice. So if you were to retouch it, you can have a little extra time 
to play with it. So yeah, I really, really recommend uh, if you have the old one, just keep using it until you finish it. And I also recommend this new one. If you have combination skin like me, then it's going to work for you too, because you can see it's perfect. <laughs> if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give me thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. What do you think about the foundation? If you already tried how it went for you and if it worked like the same way as the old one. I know the old one is right now on discount. So it's like around $20. So if you like that formula, if you don't care about the smell, like the fragrance, grab it because it's $20. <laughs> and thank you so much for watching and i see you next time bye bye Yo.